Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on the new song by Katy Perry called Woman's World. Beautiful little song, relatively easy to play, and I'm gonna teach you how to play the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs I should do next, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, keep me doing this, and you want the tabs for this and loads of other songs, then you can support me on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little intro, which just goes like this. So for that, we've got an A chord. First finger on D2. Second finger on G2 third finger on B2. And we play from the A string downwards. It then changes to a G chord on beat four and. So it goes one, two, three, four. So the G chord is your third finger E3, second finger E3 nearest to your face, and first finger on A2. You play all the strings. Um, don't play the notes in the brackets there, just held on. We then go to a D chord, which is your second finger E2, first finger G2, third finger B3. Play from the D string downwards. And we play a D chord twice. So we play it once at the end of bar two and then once at the end of bar three. So the last quaver before it. So it sounds like this. Whole line. One, two, three, four, and one. So you're playing like the chords on the sort of off beats of beat four. Try it one more time. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so that's just a little intro. We then get to the verse, which sounds like this. So for that, we've got an A chord. We've got four bars of it. You could just chug it around with some like down strokes. Going. Four bars of that. We then go to an F chord. I've chosen this sort of slightly easier version of the F. First finger on B1. Second finger on G2. Third finger A3. And little finger on D3. Playing the middle four strings, we've got two bars of that. It then goes to an E sus four, where you've got fingers on uh, A two, D two, and G two, and then it resolves to an E chord, where your first finger goes on G one, second finger A two, third finger D two, and you'll see there there's an E four, the last two beats. You're just going to play the note E4. So the last bar will go one, two, three, four. Okay, so the whole of that first line of the verse one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. to the next line and we've got this okay so for that you could just play the previous um, line over the top of it but it sounds cool like it's got these um, sort of synth chords over the top so we've got an A chord, but I'm doing it slightly different. I'm putting my first finger on B5, second finger on G6, and third finger on D7. So it makes a little diagonal line. And I'm also playing the open A string. I then take that same shape and move it down two frets. So B3, G4, and D5, and play from the A string. 
and that's an A slash, uh, sorry, a G slash A chord. So we've got A, G slash A. I haven't written it on there, but it actually pushes every other chord. So the, the first chord is on the beat, the second chord is the quaver before the beat. So it goes one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. It then does that again. We'll then go to that easy F. Back up to the G, but um, it's not over A this time, it's just a G. It should be G over F, really. So first finger on B1, oh, sorry, B3, second finger G4, third finger D5, and only play those strings. Ideally, we'd put an F in the bass, but it'd be really tricky to get that. Or make it sound nice. So we're just gonna play those three strings. And then E sus4 to E, and then that E4 at the end, just that one note. Okay, so that line, one, two, three, four. And again, you can funk it up with some like extra strumming going. So that's still the verse. It then goes on to the next line, which is a chorus, which sounds like this. So A chord jumps to G, so a normal G chord on this, so third finger E3, second finger E3, first finger A2. Then the only chord that's slightly strange is a D over F sharp. First finger E2, second finger G2, and third finger B3. Hopefully that A string will get muted off by the first finger. It then jumps to a normal D, and then back to a G chord, um, so it goes A for three and a half beats, hits the G chord on the last quaver of the first beat and then goes into the next bar, lasts for the whole bar apart from the last quaver which jumps to D slash F sharp, and then jumps to the G, uh, sorry D and then back to G. Hopefully it's making sense, so it goes like this. So A, G, D over F sharp, D, G. It then does a similar thing, goes A to G, then just goes to a normal D chord, then another D, back to G. So let's play the whole line without putting any extra rhythm in. Here we go, one, two, three, four. If you want to add some extra rhythm. And that chorus just repeats, you play it twice. It then goes back to the verse, plays the two lines of the verse, and then it just repeats this chorus till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section. I do read every comment. So let me know that you're out there watching the video. Just say hi if you wanna say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, keep me doing this, and you want the tabs for this as well, and loads of other songs. Then I'll put it on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.